Hey guys, today we're going to talk about my shame. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I don't know what to do. That was stupid. Today we are decluttering my eyeshadow palette collection. I just did a count and I'm hoping that I counted right. Honestly, there was like, I was pulling palettes out of every drawer and every crevice of this room and the rest of my house to be honest. And I counted, I have 231 eyeshadow palettes. That's just eyeshadow palettes. What am I doing with my life? This is all palettes. I also have two tables right here. I thought I only needed one table, but I actually wound up with two. So I've got stacks of palettes. It's just so much. Like, I don't even know what to do. What am I doing with my life? I have so many. Ugh. So I'm gonna do a lot of swatching, hence the little skimpy top. I'm gonna go like in Tati mode today and I'm just gonna swatch everywhere, why not? I'm excited to dive in. I'm also really scared. Palettes to me are so hard to let go of. This is why you're gonna see palettes that you're like, what in the hell are you still doing with those? And those are gonna be the ones I'm definitely gonna get rid of or fingers crossed can't get rid of. And yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of palettes here and I feel like this is going to be a long one. So before I get to rambling too much, thank you so much for clicking. And if you are enjoying the videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, subscribe to my channel. Obviously, if you haven't, share it with a friend if you think that they would enjoy it. Anything that you guys do really means the world to me and can help me out so much. Please feel very free in this video to tell me that I should have gotten rid of more palettes because that's probably going to be the case. I would like to think that I could get my collection down to 150. Like, I didn't think it was gonna be 231, honestly. Let's dive right in. My one and only Z palette that I really use, and honestly, I don't use that much, is this one here, which I'm later gonna go through and kind of cull down. I have a small Sephora collection one, but it, there's hardly anything in it, so I think I'm just gonna like, combine the two and get rid of some single shadows but i would consider this a palette because it's got a ton of singles in it next i have a big old stack of morphe palettes i don't think that i'm gonna get rid of these because these are like the backup go-to like when i need a color and i just can't find it like for instance i've got 35b i don't even think i've used this one yeah this is the boss mood one i love the greens in this these greens are like a major call to me i love these these are just good staple palettes with tons of colors in them 35e which honestly if i was gonna get rid of one it would probably be this but i feel like with my morphe palettes i'm gonna at least give them another shot before i get rid of any of them this one is 35u unfortunately i'm keeping this big old stack i feel like you need these next i have the bh cosmetics zodiac and zodiac love signs i'm keeping both of these i think bh cosmetics is amazing i'm just gonna be honest and for the price it's so good i want to be sure to keep some affordable palettes too and not just get rid of all of them so i'm gonna definitely gonna keep these two i've got this beauty and the beast palette i'm gonna keep this honestly just because i'm in love with beauty and the beast and i don't know that i've ever really given this like a thorough use that one by La Rock. Okay, so I have this Grinch palette that I got over the holidays. You would think that this would be one I want to keep, but it's a very bulky palette, and honestly, I wasn't that impressed with it. These little tiny sleek palettes, it wouldn't matter if these were amazing quality because the little tiny pans are the idiotiest little bittiest things I've ever seen. I think these were in advent calendars. Surprisingly, like there are some decent looking things in these palettes. They're just, they're so tiny. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I worked for Clinique for a while. God, years ago, like three, no. Oh my God, was it like five years ago? That's crazy. I wound up with a lot of like Clinique palettes. I'm gonna donate that one. I think that was like a gift with purchase one that honestly, I don't think I've ever used. I've got a bunch of these palettes. At the time, I just thought like, wow, I really need to wear Clinique. I don't think anybody would say that they are the masters of shadow by any means. So I think I feel pretty comfortable getting rid of these. They were taking up like a pretty good size of a drawer. Jenna's Essentials was one that I wore a lot because it's just like neutrals and then I'd throw that black into the crease and outer corner. That's a total of seven, eight if you count that one. And there's two more. This is the one that I thought about keeping. I have nine gonna put there and this one makes 10 which has greens in it you guys I love greens so here are the swatches no like once I swatch it out I'm like no this one is not very old and it's not used 
but the rest of these are well loved so I'm gonna take a look at them closer I don't think that these are really good enough to donate these are really used like I said okay these two little lime crime plushies palettes I recently got when I went to iMats or one of them I picked up at TJ Maxx but honestly they're the same they actually gave me one of each and one of them is going into a giveaway I have a giveaway going on on Instagram right now and I believe this palette right here is in it it's just one of the many items There's a pair of key sunglasses they're like aviators shan xo palette there's some skincare there's a good mixture of stuff so go over to my instagram i'll put it up on the screen this makeup atelier palette i actually really liked this one is burnt umber this little mac nine pan i i don't know i just don't want to get rid of this <laughs> so i'm gonna hold on to that for now this urban decay one was like a i don't know reward or something like that and I think I'm just going to get rid of that guy. This little ColourPop Pretty Much palette is super tiny. This one has some really cute colors. I have this little Laura Lee Los Angeles. This came out of BoxyCharm, I think. There's some really vibrant colors, but I wasn't super impressed with the quality. I felt like it was hit and miss and not that great, but it is gently used. I only use this one, so I'm going to donate it. I've got some Juvia's Place palettes. These are not going anywhere. I think they do an excellent job on their shadows, and I have maybe two others too. I have quite a few other palettes, and I mean, just let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. that one's Woda Bee from the Saharan palette and then I'm gonna swatch a matte from this other palette this is the Zulu let me just swatch this matte orange all right my regular camera overheated so I'm using my phone for some of this as I was saying this is freaking from the Zulu palette and it's a matte look at that it's insane I have some Marc Jacobs palettes um I think all the mini ones I am going to see if my mom or my aunt once. Honestly, I'm just, I'm not reaching for them ever. So yeah, I'm just gonna see if they would like those or donate if they wouldn't. These two larger palettes, I think I'm gonna keep for now. I do really like the quality. These are discontinued ones, however, so I'm probably not gonna hold on to them for much longer, but I would like to use them. I've actually got two of these that are basically like testers that I was able to get for gratis. Now they do have some really beautiful colors, but the odds of me grabbing them and using them, also look at that, Whew. they're really pretty. Like this was the one that I was having a hard time letting go of because of these metallics. I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to that one. Shit. I just wish I had a compact for these is the only problem I have. All of them are so pretty, but like those first three metallics are out of this world. So I will um, donate this guy. This particular Makeup Forever I think was the collection that was like a Fifty Shades of Grey thing from like one of the first movies. This is so old. Now it's kind of... Oh, what? Uh, no, okay, it's not as pretty. I don't feel as bad now. This is just old. It's very old. I need to get rid of it. These from e.l.f., the aqua eyeshadows, I got because Casey Holmes was talking about how beautiful these were. I honestly was not as impressed as she was. They are pretty, as you can see, but they definitely creased up on me, and they kind of feel weird, like almost putty-like. I just wasn't blown away the way that she was and that's what I was kind of hoping for. I was like, wow, these are so affordable. I was really drawn to like this gold, for instance, which that's pretty, but it looks a lot like the color from the Saharan palette. As you can see, some swatched great, some swatched eh. I have the BH Glam Reflections palette. This one's gorgeous. I'm keeping that. The Jaclyn Hill palette. I personally, while I thought it was really good, I wasn't like overwhelmed the way that some people were, but I am going to hold on to it. I do feel like it deserves a little more love and maybe more trying. As you can see, most of them are used, but not very much. So I feel like it needs some more love. So I have a few Smashbox palettes. I actually have three different cover shop palettes. I have to say I haven't really used them all that much. And I kind of want to give them a shot before I let them go because they're good travel sizes. I'm definitely going to keep the Tartlet Tees and the Tartist Pro to go. These are really handy for travel. You've got one that's warm, one that's cool. I have this super old Too Faced one. Like, does anybody even recognize this? Oh, copyright 2012. 
Also, this really wasn't good at all. Um, I mean, here you go. So it's got some lips, some face, some eye. This one I'm gonna have to trash. It's just really old. This little rock, little quad, I have had, oh my God, the plastic is still on it. I've had the hardest time letting this one go. They look like little baked shadows. And I think the last time I swatched this, I was like, no, I'm keeping this because it still works. So let's see. What the fuck? Why is that still good? But this is old. Tell me to get rid of it. It's an old palette. It's an old palette. Actually, let me swatch right here. I've got this Crown Glam Metals. Maybe have some similar shades. I was hoping that this would be like, oh, I don't need the other one. Because look at this. This one's kind of pretty too. I'm going to swatch the matte black in this palette. And that's going to be the deciding factor. Mmm, it's not that good. I want to say that when I used this Crown Metals palette that I was just like so so on the fence. So I'm going to put this one aside in the donation area bin and I think I'm actually gonna, no, no, no. This is super old. I'm gonna let it go. It needs to go. All right, this 39A Dare to Create by Morphe is not going anywhere. I'm holding on to this guy. It has huge pans of all of these big natural browns, a lot of warm tones. It's got a few greens, beautiful palette. This NYX, love you so mochi. I don't know that I've ever really played with this guy. I'm trying to do like speed swatching, you know? Let's do it up here. That was an easy one. We have this sleek palette and this one is a normal adult size and that's what it looks like here. Very neutral but very light. No. Okay this Urban Decay one I'm I have trouble with this because this is one of the first palettes that I had that I really used and I don't know I'm gonna let's see what it looks like. I want I want it Oh, Ooh, one more good one. <gasps> okay, yeah. Now I don't feel bad keeping it because it's actually still pretty good. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited that that didn't swatch like garbage because I have like sentimental like reasons to want to keep this. So I'm gonna hold on to this guy. I have the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted. Let me swatch this again. So here are a few swatches of that. I'm actually gonna let this guy go. I have a lot of peach shades and I obviously haven't shown this one a lot of love, so I'm gonna give it to somebody who will. I have the Too Faced Peanut Butter Honey Palette. It also smells like peanut butter. Mm, it doesn't swatch that well. I thought I liked this one though. I don't know. I'm gonna give this another shot before I decide to get rid of it because it's adorable and I'm a sucker. I have two Makeup Forever Artist 9 Shadow Palettes. Now these I actually really used to love, but I feel like this has kind of taken a toll. This one in particular I've used quite a bit. And their shadows, um, I don't know if they still are, but they were made from like a slurry. I want to say that it just doesn't hold up that well. So I think I'm going to let this guy go. I've had it an incredibly long time. Now this other one I haven't had as long. This one actually came out before. This is the number two and that was the number three. Mm, there's still some life in this one. Here's some swatches of this one. So here are some swatches. Like those are the most random swatches ever. I don't see myself using this. I have so many colorful palettes that this one's gonna kinda get pushed to the side. So I know that I have not used this one nearly as much. So I'm gonna donate and then toss this one. And the Maybelline Rock Nudes. That's what it looks like and I went ahead and swatched a few. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I used it once and I wasn't too terribly impressed. The Naked Ultimate Basics, which is all mattes. I feel like maybe I should keep this one just as a like grab it when I know I need just like a good blending matte. These were really decent. I don't think that when this came out, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this, but 
I got this in gratis and it just has some good like very neutral colors so I probably won't grab it to do like an all over look but when I'm looking for a good blending shade I will reach for this. I have this Buxom palette which these are actually refillable um, but I remember buying this and thinking like, oh this is really cute and then I just never put it to good use. Honestly I don't think they're very good like look at that. I love Buxom lips. I like the big pencils. I like the uh, creams, I like the glosses, I like the like uh, demi shiny finish liquid lipsticks. I like all of that, but this just didn't do it for me. I've got the Nude Dude from The Balm, which looks like this. I actually did use this a good bit, but I think I'm going to let this one go because I've had this one again a long time. I think I got this like right after it came out. There's a few little swatches. So some decent little colors, but I think I am going to let this go. I have the Pixie It's Judy Time. I feel like I picked this up at TJ Maxx. I don't know what I was thinking when I got it. <laughs> Getting this old palette. It's just another neutral palette. I feel like I'm not going to get enough use out of it and I need to... I need to purge. There's a lot of Pixie that I really want to use, but I don't know. I want to get something relevant versus just using an old palette that nobody can get. I have the Makeup Revolution Soph X palette. This one's actually really pretty. I think this is really good quality too. And while this is still out, I'm going to continue to use it. The Urban Spectrum palette. So I'm very tempted with Urban palettes to just hold on to them because a lot of them have become like favorites. Whoa, yeah, I'm keeping that. Okay. Okay, I've cleared off one table and I've almost cleared off another. <laughs> but I still got all that shit. The Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. There's one of these palettes that I thought was just really bad. And I usually love Tarte, so I hate saying that. But there's something about the mattes in these where I feel like they have just too much moisture in them or something. Because the moment you start to rub in, it becomes really muddy and it like almost like packs the shadow down. And you have to use very little force. I don't get the hype about them. Now this is better than the other one. Like I can't even remember which volume that is. Maybe volume three. I'm gonna put it in like a, a video soon where I talk to you guys about some products I think you should skip. I'm gonna kind of get creative with that one but I think I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. Like something just tells me to wait. Now I'm gonna donate this guy too. Okay, I have the ColourPop Cute AF palette. I love this one. It has beautiful colors in it and you cannot beat the price. I also recently picked up the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. And then I also got, and have not even used yet, the It's My Pleasure, which is the purple one. So I'm keeping all of those. I'm definitely keeping my nude palette, no doubt about that. I used it the entire time I was in New York. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I also have the original rose gold palette and call me crazy I love this one like I didn't have any complaints about it I thought it was really good I have this Viseart golden hour palette which I haven't really gotten the chance to use I got this one in a lucky bag earlier this year I have the Morphe this is the 15M Nightmaster I also used this one a little bit while I was in New York and I'm gonna hold on to that I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette I feel like I should really get rid of this like I'm keeping the Naked Basics which has a lot of these mattes in it those are just quick swatches but even like the shimmer shades that you think like oh those are gonna be so pretty um they just they don't quite cut it I feel like I should get rid of this. I have a ton of little Wet n Wild palettes and while some of these are pretty good, mostly they're good considering the price. Um, I think I am going to get rid of them. I just don't remember to reach for these little palettes and most of them are Every single one of these says limited edition, so I'm going to donate these. I have some little Makeup Forever palettes that I made myself. These, now I picked out specifically for specific shades, like that cool tone color that I wanted for a crease shade. Oh, still looks good. And then I've got a couple of really good shimmers in here as well. Like there, those are very good like neutral go-tos and a very quick, easy eye. The other one that I made has some kind of different colors in them. The pink and the green really stand out. 
I'm gonna hold on to those. I did get rid of my other Makeup Forever ones, but I don't wanna part with these quite yet. I've sullied many makeup wipes. I have only three things left on these little tabletops. So I have the Kat Von D Eye Little Shade and Light Mini ones. I picked most of these up at TJ Maxx and these do have some really good mattes. And I don't know if you guys like have noticed, I haven't talked about it, but I haven't really been using a lot of Kat Von D. These are obviously some retired ones, but they do have a few what I would consider somewhat unique shades like this and the rust one is really pretty. I just want to kind of make sure that I'm not going to miss these shades. So I'm going to hold on to them for now, but I probably won't be using them in videos. So I'm going to start pulling some palettes from behind me. All right, so I grabbed some things. First off, I have this little Dior. Um, this is like, again, like a tester. It has five colors in it. I'm just going to get rid of it. I, I can't stand these. You can't really put them in a palette. Honestly, I've done it with another palette. It's not worth it. And to be as pricey as they are, they're not that good. I'm definitely not getting rid of this. The Alien palette to me has some very unique colors. And again, I love greens. So it has a lot of greens, grays, colors that you don't see every single day. And yeah, it's very unique. And I just think his formula is very good. So I'm not getting rid of that. <laughs> with some more ColourPop palettes. I have the little Take Me Home one so cute for travel i have the semi precious one which i'm gonna swatch really quick i don't remember this one being one that i thought was all that great but let's see so it has like some jewel tones it has some pretty colors i'm tempted to keep it just because it's color pop but on the other hand like am i gonna use this hold please i'm gonna decide on that um, I have three Lorac palettes that I desperately need to get rid of because these are maybe some of the first little palettes that I ever had. They are extremely old. Like, does anybody recognize these? I've been holding on to these because they are so adorable with a little diamondy looking packaging. But the truth is, like, I had these before I even started really wearing all that much makeup. Like, I more so wanted to collect it because it made me happy and made me less sad. And now these are just like a reminder of the time when I literally used to, when I was like at my worst, I would spread out all my makeup and just look at it. And I didn't have all that much and I didn't know how to wear it, but something about it made me happy and I wanna cry just thinking about that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna get rid of these. They're very old, so we're gonna just toss these. I have this little Viseart Theory palette, really good travel neutrals. All the little Huda palettes right here, I am going to hold on to. I have Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, Mauve, Warm Brown, Electric, and Smoky. I actually really like all these palettes. I have this Wet n Wild um, House of Thorns from their like Rose collection. I haven't had this very long, so I'm gonna hold on to it for now. And I already got rid of so much of theirs, I wanna keep some. I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum. Now this has, oh shit, this one's got a broken shade. Let me see how bad this is. Okay, so it looks like it just broke a little piece off of that. So I am going to keep it. If it was like shattered, I would probably consider getting rid of it. These, I know, apply better than they swatch. I might just be making excuses. That's like full on possibility. This is another one that's like, it's gone, but I have a hard time getting rid of Urban Decay palettes as well. I have the MAC and Jeremy Scott little boom box. If you don't know, I did find this at TJ Maxx for like a steal. It was brand new and really good price. It is a little dusty, um, but if you aren't familiar, it looks like this, which you got little bars. It's just, such a unique thing that I want to keep it. We got Alice through the looking glass. Now this one is rather bulky, but I remember at the time thinking this is so beautiful. I never want to get rid of it. Um, but it's got like the butterfly and I love Alice in Wonderland. This one you pull out the base. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could get rid of this. I recently looked through like old photos and I had a look that I did with this palette. It wasn't very good, <laughs> but it was very bold. It was like blues and greens and purples. And I wore it to a party where like none of the girls had any makeup on or very little. And I really stood out, but I loved it. And 
I wasn't that good at applying it, but damn, I was proud that I did it. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm getting rid of this Lila palette. I wore it to the wedding the other day that I went to and it was gorgeous. Beautiful eyeshadow look. It blends like a dream. We have the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair. I actually used a couple of shades from this. So yeah, I paired Natasha Denona and BH Cosmetics and I'm proud of it and I loved them both. Some ColourPop. I still haven't made my mind up on this one. Now this one, the Golden State of Mind, I think is the one that I really didn't care for that much. They're all very chunky metallic. And if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think they were that good. Ooh, very chunky. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I do think that um, when they put their palettes in Sephora, like I just felt like they were different. I usually am like 100% on board with ColourPop. I love the Super Shock shadows. I love their Ultra Satin lips. I love their press pigments. This one just was like, mm, what is that? And then the Semi Precious, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too because these are both gone and forgotten and I can't use them in videos and I need to be cutthroat. All right, we have the My Little Pony one. This one I'm gonna keep. I felt like the quality was really good. I have the Double Entendre, some really good neutrals. You had me at Hello, again, really good neutrals. Oh, and this one's a face palette, so make that 230 instead of 231 palettes. And I'm keeping these color pop. I have this Fossilor um, Endless Possibilities. I haven't really used it enough yet and I want to give it another shot. I actually enjoyed it the first time um, but I want to try it use it a couple more times before I decide if I want to get rid of it. I have this super old Hourglass palette that when I saw this I was like oh it looks so beautiful. Honestly it's not very good. It's not doing anything um so yeah i just i just don't think that they perfected the formula on this very well it looks gorgeous but this is also really old this little tarte foil finger palette i actually really like um the colors show up so beautifully metallic and then you have these two little glitters here one's more golden and the other more silver so i actually really like this palette i have the ciate glitter storm i actually like this one a lot it's like the mauvey feel to it and and honestly, like their front of it is just so cute. I have the Ace Beauty Grandiose palette. I haven't had this one very long. Let me swatch. Oh, okay. We'll keep her for now. Okay, we have the Pastel Goth palette. This one I just, I like because they're muted. They're bright muted colors, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe that, but they're just like, they're pastel, but still like a rainbow. I don't know. I have the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. I've only used it once and I really love it. So somebody took my chair and my camera needed a bit of a charge. I just decided to go ahead and film a little bit more with my phone. So, you know, sorry about the B-roll. So I was just about to tell you guys that I have this gingerbread spice palette, but I actually had like a broken one that I've been using forever. You can tell I have been loving this one for a while. I've been saving this guy, which is one that is like, fully intact it's brand new so i'm gonna hold on to this guy and i'm gonna finally get rid of the other one that i've given lots of love to maybe i should keep both and continue to use the busted one but honestly i need to just i need to make room i need to be more organized and stop overwhelming myself so i'm gonna let this one go there's no way in hell i'm getting rid of my natasha denona safari or my jeffree star androgyny oh, oh shit ew Oh man, the beauty killer is sharp. It hit me in the leg. Um, yeah, I'm not getting rid of this one either. So these are like easy, like hell knows they're staying. Thanks for playing. I just got this one in my Ipsy Plus, the Moods palette. Um, let's just swatch because I don't know. I wasn't honestly feeling it that much when I first got it, but I haven't really been able to use it thoroughly and like get a feel for it. It's got some really pretty shades. That's the highlights right there. If I'm not feeling it, I should just pass this on to someone who can use it more. Oh my God, I really like cut my leg with that palette. Like beauty killer indeed. I've got the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. Again, I paid way too much for this at TJ Maxx. I don't know why. Um, and again, I'm just not, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not feeling the Kat Von D train, so I'm gonna um, donate this one. 
palettes are sliding everywhere. All right, I have the BH Cosmetics uh, Nuevo palette. This one's really gorgeous. Again, I love BH Cosmetics. I have the Too Faced Just Peachy and White Peach. I'm gonna hold on to these for now. I have the infamous Nickelodeon palette from Hot Topic. I honestly didn't think it was that bad, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna keep this because I love Ren and Stimpy and Rocco's Modern Life and Rugrats, you know? I love that guy. So we're gonna hold on to this for now. This one, I was having a hard time deciding. It does have a cat hair in it. <laughs> it does have some pretty unique colors, so I think I am gonna hold on to it for now. Honestly, you just, I spent a lot of money on it, but it is limited edition, so this may not make it the next time I decide to declutter my palettes, but for now, we're gonna keep her. The Sephora Pro, this is the editorial palette. So this one has a few quiches that I really love. These two in particular were, I was big fans of. They've got some interesting metallic some of them are not the best I'm gonna be honest but it does have its moments and this color I just really love that doesn't really do it justice but on the eyes man it shows up like fluorescent so for now we're gonna hold on to that Morphe Grand Glam palette this one has like nothing but huge pans so if you're really going in for a warm look this is a good one to grab the Too Faced Pretty Rich I'm gonna hold on to for now I haven't had very long and I do like this one a lot so we're gonna keep that for now it is a little bulky more wet and wild but these are again I think limited edition if I'm not mistaken this is the earth uh, air fire water and I don't know the fact that they're all together they're not separated it kind of drives me crazy if I'm being honest um, yeah, I don't know. Not everybody can get their hands on these. I don't know if these are still available, so I think I am going to donate these. This little mini Juvia's Place, the Nubian. I'm definitely keeping that. Again, I just love their shadows. We have the Saffron Palette from Suva. I think this was really pretty. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little chunky, but look at that. It's like all spicy. A couple more from Too Faced. This is the um, a collection of Ulta, like the fruit one. God, I can't think of what it's called. These are really cute. Honestly, the packaging is like half the reason I'm keeping them because they're super adorable and I love the little mirror accents that they put in there. So cute. So yeah, I'm gonna keep those for now. They're not like amazing out of this world quality, but they're pretty good. The ColourPop Soul and Mar palette, the Sun and the Sea. I'm gonna keep both of these. They're really pretty. I'll give you a little sneak. They are super pretty. Very cute for summer. And then the last one before I flip back over to my camera. What I can't remember what this one is called. Like the Vice one? No. Holy shit, I don't remember what this is called. But you know the weird Urban Decay palette that they came out with that has like just nothing but metallics. And it's like the weirdest packaging ever. Yeah, I'm going to just hold on to this for now. Just because simply, I don't know. It's 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 weird and it's urban decay all right sorry for the back and forth of phone and camera i just there's a lot there's a lot you know what i mean so i'm gonna quickly touch on what encompasses about 10 different things all at once so i have a pretty big problem when it comes to the Too Faced holiday collections here are two this is like one full year so that's three right there each set always has a palette or some sort of a palette set or something like that this one for instance has a whole palette inside i got this limited edition pumpkin spice honestly this one's gorgeous I think this one was only on QVC. It smells like pumpkin spice and it's really good. Every single set comes with a palette and I always kind of collect these. But just to give you an idea, I have years worth of products. These are two separate years and it kind of goes back um, to my collecting days before I was really using a lot of it. This one actually has three palettes inside. I just counted that as one. It's more sentimental for me. Like this is one of the oldest ones in particular. And I thought about pulling this palette out. Oh, it smells like berries or something. I thought about pulling the palette out and just getting rid of the rest. This is the palette here. Um, but honestly, it's very sentimental for me. I used to display them, but now they're just more for me. This one, for instance, is, as you can tell, a little bit newer. And I've left everything in here as is. I just love the display of it. And I have used the palettes. They're not just for collecting purposes, but I have left them in here. This is probably like 
four years back, I want to say. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly. Also, a couple things from ColourPop are Super Shock Shadow books. And I kind of want to take these out, but they're also really adorable. Um, but each of these has six Super Shock Shadows. But I wanted to go through these to kind of like remind myself that like, hey, I have these. And I'm tempted to take them out and put them in a drawer or simply display them somewhere where I can be reminded that, hey, I have these. All of that I'm keeping. I also have this little stack, which I think is mostly newer things. Well, that one's not newer. Skinny Dip is not newer. Um, but I do love those foil shadows from Jouer, so I'm going to hold on to that. The Urban Decay Born to Run. I haven't even, like, given this palette enough time and energy yet. The BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis is amazing. Beautiful. I want to order... I probably got shadow everywhere. I really want to order the Santa Fe one as well. Let me just give you a little one too so you understand. It's just a really pretty palette and this one has a few really solid mattes as well and then a lot of shimmers. It's really good. I love BH. Can I say that again? The Sephora Pro Warm palette is kind of like my go-to when I haven't found quite the right warm shade. I actually think these are pretty good. They kind of got a bad rap and not every shade in them is stellar, but for the most part, they are really good. I actually just used this in an Instagram video, which I thought turned out really cute. Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette. I actually think this one is really cool and interesting. And then one of my very recent purchases, the Lime Crime Venus XL2. This one is a lot of light shades, which I don't typically have a lot of. You can see it's very light toned and absolutely gorgeous. I also love the design of it. It's really pretty. That's a lot of stuff that I'm keeping and I didn't want to spend too much time on. I think this kind of goes without saying that I'm keeping this whole stack if you don't know what this is. Uh, you're just missing out. No, I'm just kidding. This is the Anastasia palette. So I have the Prism, the newest one, which is the Riviera palette, the Sultry, the Soft Glam, the Norvina, the Subculture, which I still think got a worse wrap than it really deserved, and then Modern Renaissance. So I do have all of these. I love them. I think they're really good. I'm definitely keeping them. This Tarte Mermaid palette was surprisingly good, I thought. Um, given that it may look a bit gimmicky, I actually thought the palette was pretty darn good. I have Naked palettes. These to me are like a thorn in my side because I want them but I don't use them, you know what I mean? So let me skip on for a moment. I have shit. I ran my finger in the Zodiac in this like, yeah, this tan color down here. This one I haven't even used, but it's really pretty. I actually used my points, I think, on the boxy charm reward room, whatever, charm room. The Lorac Pro, this is like the brunch one, Beauties Who Brunch. This one is super, super light. I am going to keep this simply because I don't have these super soft pastel colors anywhere else and you know, I might need them. That's probably the hoarder in me talking, but we're gonna do it. I have this Pure and BoxyCharm palette. This one I feel the need to do some soul watching. What the hell? That one just didn't exist. I'm torn because I don't have a lot of products from Pure. I have also from Pure the Festival palette, which I think I'm going to keep this one. I did wind up enjoying this, even though I still think it's a little odd, the purple and the pink in the middle and the rest being very desert-like. I guess it's, you know, very festival-y. I get it. I really like the BH Cosmetic Festival palette, but I just recently got this one, so I'm going to hold on to this for now, and I think we're going to let the Boxy Charm and Pure go. The Huda Desert Dusk palette, I am going to hold on to that. We have Makeup Geek Single Pan palette, and I have another, at least one more shade that goes in here, but I am going to hold on to this for now. The green, I had to repack into here, which is why it looks a little funky, but look at that. So pretty. I've dug my fingernail into yet another palette. So yeah, this one, the Chasing Rainbows, I'm gonna hold on to. I love ColourPop. And then I also have this big palette, which has a ton of single shadows in it. This was such a good deal too. When they did this, it was like a bundle. You could get all these shades and it's really good. I guess for now, I'm gonna hold on to all my naked palettes. I don't know. 
like to be honest i don't think i ever really wore naked three that much so here's some shades um kind of chunky man one of them was really messy i know i'm keeping them for sentimental reasons i have done some damage you know i've gotten rid of some stuff the smoky was actually one of my favorites it's it's a lesser favorite for most people but i actually do like that one the Too faced cat eyes i feel like we're getting into some more that are just tough for me to get rid of because of sentimental reasons now the peanut butter and jelly i actually really liked definitely keeping that one country one i don't even remember having this well that's kind of cute okay okay i feel like i should swatch cat eyes too to see oh wow I remember thinking that these were some of their better palettes, but damn. So far, so good. I think I'm going to be keeping these. We're definitely keeping this. Like, this peach palette is not going anywhere, even if it's just a snippet. I have these selfie powders. Oh, this is another one that's actually a face palette. Um, but while I'm here, I think I'm actually going to get rid of this because I don't think that these actually did anything. We're going to get rid of this guy. Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. We've got the Chocolate Bonbons. This was actually one of my favorite ones when it came out. The original Chocolate Bar. The Return of Sexy. More like the return of the really freaking old palette. This actually has a liner in there too that's got to be like just decrepit. Oh wow. The palette was never that good to begin with, I don't think. So we're gonna get rid of this one. It is old as shit. The Too Faced White Chocolate Bar. This one's really soft. Oh, in the same old packaging, the Love Palette. Holy shit. Let's swatch this. Well, that's kind of a pretty shade, but let's be honest, it's not swatching right. It's probably honestly taking a toll on the quality over time. And I do feel like this is another one that I should just get rid of. I'm keeping a lot of Too Faced palettes, so I do not feel bad getting rid of those old guys. Speaking of Too Faced palettes, the Sugar Pop. I'm going to do a few quick swatches. There you go. Pretty cute. I'm honestly, I'm like keeping all of these little metal ones. Brow Envy. Oh my god. I totally forgot that I have this, but I'm tempted to just keep these little tweezers. A brow highlighter brow powders this is definitely not an eyeshadow palette but i think i have to let this go you know it's old Do they sell this anymore we have the Too faced totally cute palette which i adorned with some stickers that's what i designed mine to look like little bears and fries and handcuffs furry handcuffs hmm. it's kind of cute a little duochrome moment okay keeping all those the Milani Gilded Desires. Let me tell you that I love Milani. Like their highlighters, um, their blushes. There's a few products from them that I really, really love. I was not blown away by this palette like other people were. And I literally, I kept playing with it thinking, wow, it has to be me. I must be doing something wrong. But no matter how I played with it, I just wasn't that thrilled. And even swatching it now, I'm like, mm, it's kind of cute, you know. I'm going to swatch some. Oh, oh, sh never mind. I have to try this palette more and figure out why it doesn't work for me and make it work. Pro Fusion Mixed Metals Peach Palette. When I used this in the video, a lot of you guys were telling me that you couldn't find this. And while I did like it, I think I'm just going to donate it. I have the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Palette. I was so hyped when I got this, which was a couple years ago, right when the brand came out and I was so very excited to get it but I'm gonna be honest the quality is not that great I don't know if they have improved in the meantime they may have because I got this like right as soon as it launched at Sephora so they may have been tweaking it here and there since then and I know that um, some of their products are going in some subscription boxes so I don't know I feel like I would like to try their brand again of eyeshadows, but this was just not, it's not very good. We have Naked 2, Shade and Light Eye. I'm tempted to get rid of this too, but I think I'm going to keep it for now and just try for some like neutral matte eye looks and see what I can come up with. Too Faced Glitter Bomb. I got this on like a massive sale and I haven't used it all that much, but these are more like glitter toppers. So I would like to pull it out some and see how it can be used. It doesn't swatch that nicely, but again, you can use a brightening base, which is like this white here, or you can put it over black. You can pair this with other shadows. So I think I just want to give it a try. It's got little 
little glitter in there. The original Naked palette has come and gone. The new one to me honestly isn't all that stellar. Like it looks cute. It's kind of plain. Maybe for someone just starting out. Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Honestly, I love it. You won't be able to get this anymore, but I actually really like this palette. And it's one of the few of her palettes that I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Like if I had to pick one, only one to keep, it would be this one for sure. So I'm holding on to that. I have the Crown Pro. I think this is the Fuego. There's no name on it anywhere. Let me swatch a few of these. Well, that's some like oh first one's so pretty i don't know that that's doing it justice i didn't hold on to the other crown palette so i'm gonna hold on to this one i have this makeup forever lustrous shadow palette this was like last holiday i have the graveyard girl swamp queen palette i actually really enjoyed this palette and i used it in one of my very first videos i talked about how much i love the bh cosmetics festival palette and here it is oh it's so pretty one of my newest palettes the sephora moschino little laptop palette i am going to hold on to this i want to use it more and i actually liked it the first time i do have a new video out talking about that and the similarities and differences to the crayon case so if you're interested a couple more of the holiday things from Too Faced, which I'm keeping. The Lorac Mega Pro 3. It has some good and it has some bad. I just hate this freaking white packaging. And yeah, I feel like I need to let this go because it just irks me to use it. One palette that I'm certainly not letting go is the Blood Sugar. Guys, this is one of my favorite palettes, like period. I love it. I think the quality is amazing. Oh, I just can't say enough. The Thirsty palette. It has a very unique yellow in it that's super bright. It's got some really fun colors that I definitely want to use during the summer. Ah, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. This one's also really gorgeous and has some beautiful metallics. The Violet Voss Flamingo. I don't have a lot of Violet Voss palettes, but I did really enjoy this one. The Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. There's a few shades in here specifically that I really love. The Alamar Cosmetics palette. I am going going to let this one go. It does have some really pretty colors and I think I came out with like a gorgeous look when I used it. Damn that makes me want to keep it. No I'm gonna get rid of this. I have too many palettes. The Suva Protégé palette. This one is another one that I'm going to get rid of. It just didn't quite hit for me the way that I wanted it to and I am keeping the Suva Saffron palette. The ColourPop All I See is Magic palette. I'm going to keep that one. It's a holiday one. It's really pretty. This one by Juvia's Place is also gorgeous. You will not see me getting rid of anything from Juvia's Place. Mm -mm. The Pure Midnight Masquerade. I'm also going to let this one go. I wasn't super stoked with this color pop i think i love you i like this one it has a really good black in it yes the fem rosa she palette from color pop all right the maybelline lemonade craze i think i am going to keep this palette from maybelline because i did not keep the other one and i felt like this one was a little bit better i have the winky lux kitten palette first of all it's so cute i don't have any other palettes from winky lux so i want to give this one a, another try and the violet boss pro holy girl palette i do think this one is really really good it's got a lot of pink neutrals which is a vibe that i really enjoy so i am going to keep that so the next to the last palette is the first moschino sephora collection palette palette is the bear it says this is not a moschino toy this is what the palette looked like i actually enjoyed this palette a lot i really like the bear honestly that is about 70 percent of the reason i'm keeping it and i have one more palette which is a brand new huda nude palette i decided to save it and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna do a giveaway right now so if you made it to the end of this video and god bless you it's been a long one i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna leave this giveaway up for about two weeks i will put the rules in the description box below what i would love for you guys to do is of course be subscribed to me and then leave a comment on my last Last three videos so I will link specifically which videos and of course this one as well so that's a total of four videos in this video I just want you to let me know what palette do you feel like I'm making a mistake on either I should get rid of it or one that I'm getting rid of that I should definitely keep that's what I would like to hear in this video your other comments I don't care what they are and then if you would like an extra entry you can follow me on Instagram 
I think this is an amazing palette, so I'm really happy to give you guys this. Just be forewarned, if you get this palette, I do not have a box. So I don't want you to get it home and think like, oh, she's giving me like a piece of junk. I don't have a box, I just want that to be really clear. So this is the exact palette that you're going to get if you win this. Show you that it's like brand new. All right, I just did a count and I am getting rid of 70 palettes out of 230 so a lot of them were smaller palettes so I'm still left with a really big collection but I narrowed it down to 160 I shot for 150 in a few months maybe I will do another declutter let me know what you think below I hope you guys really enjoyed this we have one more thing to take care of and it is our dad joke this is bouncy castles twice the price of last year that's inflation for you. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. I love you guys. Bye.